All right, guys, so we're gonna start out with the same circuit that we completed in the previous section. Uh, we're gonna alter it a bit so that we have a total of five LEDs instead of two. So because of that, we're gonna have to put in a few more digital pins. Uh, as I said before, the digital pins that support PWM on the Arduino Nano are D3, D5, D6, D9, and D11. So those are the ones we're gonna have to connect up. But we're already using five and six, so let's hook up number 11. Put it somewhere over here. And D9. Put it right there. And last but not least, D3. Let's put it right there. All right, now let's put in the rest of our LEDs. And remember the long side, the longer lead of the LED needs to go closest to the D pin on the Arduino. So we got four of them in there. Here's our last one. All right, and then make sure you have resistors. Uh, in this case, we're using 1K ohm resistors. And connect those from the output of the LED to our grounded rail. And it doesn't matter the orientation for those resistors. All right guys, so we're gonna start writing the code for our PWM lab. We'll be able to light up a series of LEDs with an Arduino using PWM signals. So to start out, we're gonna to have to initialize some pins on the Arduino Nano. So we're gonna be using a total of five. So let's initialize five different pins on the Arduino. So we're gonna have LED one, two, three, four, and five. Number five, we're just gonna call it norm because our last LED is just gonna be lighting up without a PWM signal, it's just on and off using a regular pin on the Arduino. Uh, remember, we, for PWM signals, we're using pins number three, five, six, and nine. And for our normal LED, we'll use pin number 11. All right, now that those are initialized, we can start our looping code. All right, let's start out simple. Let's say we just want to change the brightness of one LED from 0% to 100% using PWM. So from a 0% duty cycle to a 100% duty cycle. We're gonna be using a for loop and we're gonna increment from zero to 100 in certain increments. Here we go. Let's write a for loop. Uh, we're gonna initialize a variable called fade value. Start it off at zero. And less than 255. Uh, we're gonna be using a function called analog write, and that is a built-in function with the Arduino that's really handy for PWM signals. Um, it ranges from zero to 255. Basically zero corresponds to a 0% duty cycle and 255 corresponds to a 100% duty cycle. So we're gonna be starting at zero, going to 255, and let's say we go in 
five increments or in increments of five. So plus equal five. All right, now within the for loop, again, we're gonna be using analog write. And let's say we just wanna use LED number one and we're gonna set it equal to fade value. Now, when we actually do this, we don't want this to run super quick because the human eye might not be able to tell the LED going from zero brightness to 100% brightness. This loop is gonna run very, very quickly. So we wanna add a delay in there. Um, we may have to play around with the exact timing. Uh, this in Arduino delay is measured in milliseconds. So let's start out with, let's say 50. We'll see how that works. Now this for loop, all it does is it raises the brightness of one LED from 0% to 100% in small increments. So once it's lit, we're gonna have to dim it again. So in order to do that, we basically need another for loop that goes the opposite direction. So we can copy paste this. Um, now, instead of starting out at zero and going to 255, we're gonna start at 255 and say, as long as we're greater than or equal to zero, and we'll go in increments of minus five. And we're doing this to LED number one. We're setting equal to fade value. And again, we have a delay of 50 milliseconds. Now, this would work with one LED. This would slowly raise its brightness from zero to 100% and then back down from 100% to zero. Now, remember for this lab, we're doing this with more than one LED. So to do that, all you really need to do is copy and paste this code four different times. This one is for LED number one. This one is for LED number two. This one is number three. This one is number four. All right. And now that we've lit up all four, we're going to need to decrease all four as well. And that's just copy and pasting again, the same code. This one's for LED number one. This one is number two. This one's number three. This one's number four. All right. So that's basically all it takes to light up an LED and decrease it at specific time intervals. Now remember I said that we may wanna play around with the delay, the timing here, so that it's either easier or harder for us to see. So instead of having to go through and change each one of these delay values every single time, we're gonna make another variable called waiting. And we'll set it equal to 50, what we had before. Now what we can do is get rid of the 50 and put in waiting. We're gonna have to replace all of these lines with the same thing, but at least we'll only have to do it one time. And now I can go up here and change this to 30 and you can run your code, you can change it to 20, whatever you want. And now we only have to change one number and it'll slow down the entire process or speed up the entire process. All right, so this basically covers all of our PWM controlled LEDs. Now let's look at our last LED, the one that we called LED pin norm. And that's the one we basically just wanna turn on and turn off. Uh, and we explored this in a, one of the very, very early labs. All we have to do with this is say digital right and then we are doing this to LED pin 
norm and we're gonna set it on high and that's just gonna supply a 5 volt source to that LED uh, and then let's put a delay maybe a little bit longer than the other ones just so it's easier to see so let's put a one second delay in there all right and now at the end we'll basically do the same thing but instead of turning it on we're gonna be turning it off so it's digital right LED pin norm we're gonna put it on low so the LED will turn off and this entire cycle within void loop is basically going to cycle repeatedly until we unplug the Arduino that's basically it there you have it you can play around with the timing like we said before to make it either easier or harder to see the LED dimming over time that's your choice and there you go Alright guys, so now that we have our circuit built for this part, we're going to test the code. So we're going to plug this into the Arduino on our laptop. And we should start to see these LEDs light up. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, as part of our code, we have these four LEDs programmed to light up with PWM signals. And then this last orange LED is just simply being turned on to high power and then off to high power. So these are lighting up sequentially starting from number one and number four and they're each getting, as they light up, they're getting brighter and brighter and brighter until they reach 100% duty cycle. And then they start going dimmer back to 0%. And you can see that kind of, that they're getting brighter and brighter as they go across. And then this one is just going from zero to 100 instantly. So that lets you see the difference between PWM signal and just a constant 5 volt signal. And so we will be exploring PWM signals as they pertain to motor controllers later on. So tune into that video.